Okay, I'm going to be making scones today. Uh, they call for all-purpose flour, but I use self-rising flour for most things, so I'm going to be using uh, three cups of all-purpose flour. already. I mean three cups of self-rising flour. One. Two. Three. Cover that back up. And they also call for um leave that cup in there. calls for a half a cup of sugar and I have sugar over here and I've got about a third cup measure stuck down in it. Well it says it's half a cup so there's that. Mix that together. All right, and it calls for one cup of milk. It's very unusual for me to actually measure very much, but I wanted to follow this recipe and see what happens. And one egg. I have fresh hen's egg here. Um, yesterday evening. It calls for them to be beaten together, so I'll just do this. I'm going to set this aside. And it calls for half a stick of butter. And I have real butter here. calls for the butter to be cut in to the flour. Now I left my, since we're moving, some of my tools that I like to use, like my pastry blender, are already packed up. So I'm just going to cut with a fork and I'm going to be right back. Okay, pretty much got it all cut in. It's supposed to be uh, pretty, pretty coarse. Since that's cut in all right, now I'll add this milk. Well, milk and egg. Mix it together. Should form a fairly stiff dough.
I'll be right back. Okay, if I can get this thing to stay focused. I wound up having to add a little extra milk. I probably overdid the flour. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted it stiff, but not crumbling apart. So now, let me get my towels out. I've seen these before. brush off anything that's dried. Put this over on the towel. Okay, I'm just going to lightly knead it a few times and then I'm going to cut it into triangle shapes. I just want it to come together a little. out in a circle that will fit my skillet because I'm going to be use, doing this on the uh, on the little stove like I've done a few other things we'll see how this works out I've got the skillet sitting right over here trying to eyeball this all right now I'm going to it's supposed to make eight, so I'll cut it into eight wedges. Maybe I need a wedge cutter. <laughs> Something that'll give me more even pieces. You can see it's kind of crazy looking. Oh, I need to grease my skillet. Maybe shortening on a towel. Rub it on. Then pick up these wedges and put them in there. Pick them up in the same order that I cut them in. Right on the measuring, so there they are. Move these things out of my way. Get this mess cleaned up here in a minute. See if I can make it focus, that's the camera. Okay, I reset it so maybe it'll maybe it'll focus a little better now. Anyway, I'll get the lid on here and uh, turn the fire on low. What I'll do with this one is as it uh, bakes, I'll check it periodically. It should only take about 15 minutes. Anyway, when the top is dried out and the bottoms are brown, I'm going to flip them over and then turn the heat off. 